Yo, what's up guys? Today I have another teeth grind video for you guys. Uh, this time on point of contact instead of Exodus. Um, some people have been asking me for this video uh, because they don't have a DLC of Exodus or uh, they think it's too difficult or they don't like the map or they want to switch it up to point of contact. And uh, for those people, I am going to make this guide. <clears throat> so uh, in this one, I'm going to explain the fastest way to grind teeth on point of contact. Point of contact is a bit slower than uh, Exodus, but it is the second fastest map to grind teeth on. Uh, Exo uh, point of contact takes about five minutes long, five minutes longer, and uh, you get two less teeth. But it is a good method to grind teeth. So in this uh, in this one, I'm going to complete uh, the mission. So that's five teeth. I'm going to complete 10 challenges, so that's 7 teeth. Complete all challenges, so that's 11 teeth. I'm going to get about 600 kills, so that's uh, 13 teeth. I'm going to play on hardcore, so that's 16 teeth. I'm going to uh, have 3 relics, so that's 19 teeth. And I already got my bonus pool, I'm gone prestige, and uh, I already completed the map. So I'm not going to get any of those 3. Uh, so that's 19 teeth, uh, which is the base if you have a good one. Uh, if you don't have a good one, uh, if you have a even better one, if you have a bonus pool, if you prestige, you get some extra teeth, which is always nice. But the base is 19, if you uh, do everything correctly. Um, so the setup I'm running is a uh, point of contact on hardcore difficulty. I turned most of my armory off, just to make it fair for you guys, because you're probably following this guide to uh, unlock everything yourself. The only things I'm running is uh, higher quality and send new ammo. Secret Explosion Protection because it's super cheap and very helpful. Toughness because it's super cheap and very, very helpful. The flinch in this game is insane. Start with a skill point because skill points are limited in this game and uh, in hardcore definitely. And starting with one is very nice. Faster health regen because it's super, super cheap. And damage upgrade it's also very cheap and very helpful. Still armor because I'm using armor. Weapon Specialist upgrade because I'm using Weapon Specialist. It's very nice to uh, destroy those berry hives. And no snare because I don't know what it does, but I know it's helpful. Uh, so for the setup, weapon specialist to destroy those berry eyes quicker. If you're not confident in the rhythm weapon specialist, you can go for medic or uh, tank. But uh, I like my weapon specialist, so I'm gonna run that. Uh, my favorite pistol is the Magnum. Also nice for the accuracy challenge. Uh, if you like the the Gregs, use the Gregs. Cinnary ammo is the best ammo in my opinion, if you exclude uh, Crypto Slayer ammo, so that's what I'm going for. Uh, armor, to make this run a lot more uh, reliable, a lot more uh, consistent. You can also run Ferals, which I do in a speed run, but uh, you save about 30 seconds, maybe a bit more, but uh, the risk of dying is a lot higher, because you run take more damage, and if you just want to grind some teeth, you want to have consistent runs. So that's why I recommend the armor. But uh, if you really want to go speedy, run ferals. Uh, take more damage. Is, uh, I'm going to run three relics. Take more damage because it gets negated by armor. I barely uh, have any uh, bad effect of it. Uh, limited ammo because uh, it's the easiest relic there is. And uh, I barely notice it. I won't spend any upgrades on armor at all. And... Uh, if you want to know more about it, go watch my teeth explanation guide. Uh, relic explanation guide. <laughs> this is the teeth explanation guide. Uh, no machines, because I barely use any machines anyway, so it's not really uh, that big of an impact. Uh, if you really, really, really want to go fast, you can uh, run Fevels and Portable Turret uh, to do kind of the speedrun strat I use uh, with turret clipping and skipping the meteors in escape and going really fast. But I think that's way too difficult for a casual teeth grind. Uh, so I'm going to keep it simple for you guys. And uh, I'm going to win this setup. So let's get right into it. Uh, in the top right, there's a speed run timer. I'm going to use that to show you guys how long a run takes. I'm going to start it as soon as the green lights appear, because that's what I do in a speed run as well. Okay, um, I think I will upgrade class first until I have faster reloading and then go for armor. So uh, 
you get 6 teeth for completing all challenges of the 19 teeth. So if you, uh, you really want to complete the challenges, if you can. Um, because you get a lot of teeth from that, about a quick half, a quarter of your teeth is uh, from the challenges. Whoa. Um, if you fail a challenge during the first like three hives, just go for a restart real quick. But if you take a, if you lose a challenge in like a very far hive, just don't bother resetting because completing maps is what really gets you teeth. If you complete a map, you're getting with this setup, you get at least 13 teeth, which is a lot. Like uh, you don't need to do, do a perfect one every time. If you fail like a challenge in the second area or the third area, just continue playing, you get at least 13 teeth. If you complete 10 challenges, you get 15, which is also great. And uh, if you fail a challenge, you also don't have to focus that much on not failing any anymore. It's also nice, you can just play a bit more casual. Uh, for the air challenge or air kill challenge, I like to go on this rock because the enemies will jump towards you and you can shoot them. And it's pretty easy to do the challenge with it. Uh, so I bought a Factor. I think the Factor is a very good gun for this map. Uh, you can find it at the very start. You can get it and you can start finding attachments for it. And you can keep it for the whole map. Because uh, it's a great gun. I already found a Rapid Fire which is very nice for the Barrier Hives. And I already found a Muzzle Break which is also nice. I am not gonna pick up a uh, holographic, I think the iron side is fine. So I'm moving for pain tanks uh, right now because uh, they do deal damage to the barrier hive if you make them explode on it. But uh, you really don't have to do this. It's just uh, a bit faster if you do. But uh, since I'm not running Engineer, uh, Engineer plus 4 gives double explosive damage. Since I'm not running it, it doesn't really matter if I do this. It only gets a tiny bit faster. Make sure there's one per paint tick on there, or a few. You don't have to make sure every per paint tick is on there. It really doesn't matter that much. I got a per paint tick challenge. Oh, I got a teeth for kills, that's also nice. My aim. Trophy system is uh, nice for uh, the barrier hive. continue to move in propanes and uh, search for attachments although I think my factor is almost complete I may miss a uh, grip but I'm not sure Wait, I can unlock faster reloading. That's real nice. Also, if you're searching, search with your vector out, because then you can uh, find attachments for your vector. If you search with your pistol, you can find every attachment for all guns. Uh, 
And uh, if you have incendiary ammo in your gun, you can only find incendiary uh, with flare. Flare is really nice for the berry hive as well. But if you have incendiary ammo in your gun, you can only find incendiary ammo and not the other types of ammo. Except for normal ammo. Uh, which is uh, helpful. Easy challenge. Always nice. But then you can only get this challenge in the first area, so it's always nice to get. I would also love to get the trap challenge in the first area, because uh, getting it in the last area is terrible. But I hope that doesn't happen. Kill scorpions, I should see them because they kill you. Scorpions are the reasons you die. I swear. I'm gonna put some points into armor now, uh, just to be a bit safe. Extra damage is of, uh, of weapon specialist, like the fourth upgrade, isn't really needed because you're mostly dealing with scouts and occasional hunter slash scorpion. So the 30% extra you gain from 20 to 50 is not that impactful. Because like, if I shoot a scout now, it will die by fire. With one bullet. If I shoot a hunter like 10 times, it will die. Either way, like it doesn't really matter all that much. Also think rapid fire is, is really not needed. It's nice to do more damage against the barrier I've done. Oh, I was gonna place this uh, trophy system next to the barrier. Hive. It's uh, very nice to have armor at a high level, so you get a lot of profit for a very cheap price. And uh, it only costs one uh, skill point to upgrade armor, where it costs three uh, skill points to upgrade the vector, uh, the uh, specialist. I again forgot to place down the trophy system. So I got a few propane tanks on there, and not too much. Uh, the more propane tanks you do have on there, the better, but damage they deal is not too significant, so we don't have to go overboard with it, as long as you complete all challenges and uh, keep the drill alive, keep yourself alive, you, uh, you're you on a decent pace. You can save like a few seconds with this, but it's not too important. Oh, it's already started. I'm gonna throw a flare, so everything gets aggroed for the flare. I don't have to deal with uh, seekers behind me, or scorpions or hunters. I'm just gonna blast uh, the very high for a bit. The propane takes a little bit of damage, and now I'm doing most damage with the vector, and together with uh, the chopper as well. Uh, the flare just ended, so I'm gonna kill everything real fast so I don't die. In a speedrun I can break the barrier height before that happens. But I'm also not using uh, Master Scavenger so my flares don't last as long. And uh, of course I do less damage with my paints and uh, I'm not using VKS. So it goes a bit slower but it's all fine. Uh, in this area you have the SA805 and also the M27 machine gun, which are also good guns. Or the Bulldog, which is an amazing gun. But I think uh, for the casual player, just keep the factor. It's a very good gun. Don't buy the Bison though. Bison sucks. CBA is also great. This one. But it, uh, it's not ideal with rapid fire. Definitely go with the extent on that one. 
you don't have extend, I think uh, keeping the factor is uh, a good play. I'm way too focused on moving the post per paints, man. It's in my uh, in my hands. I can't not do it. I should be getting this money because it's free money, and I have to literally have the money challenge. So plus two armor is already so strong. You get like half your bar. Tournament drill is uh, problematic. Immediately kill it. Ball. Shoot against the wall. If you have the money to finish that uh, money challenge, just do it. Because uh, there's always a tiny chance you just totally forget about the challenge, and then uh, in the end, you just see the challenge failed, and you're like, huh, what the fuck? So if you have the money, just finish it. I'm that person that uh, forgets challenges sometimes, like uh, don't spend money for two minutes. Like after one minute and a half, I have forgotten. <laughs> and I will fail the challenge, just because I have forgotten. So now if I throw armor, it's uh, almost maxed out, which is amazing. This does mean I won't have it to uh, plus 3 for the next barrier hive, which I should have thought about. I should have uh, get my armor at 2 because already at 2 armor is amazing. But uh, yeah, a bit of time loss, but that's fine. Time loss is because I can't kill the barrier hive as quick as I possibly could. If I had spent uh, my skill points into glass, I uh, could have done a bit more damage. I'm gonna get my trophy system real quick because I think it's barely used, and uh, it's very nice to have for the next barrier. I can also get this trophy system. It's a fresh one. Challenge completed. Ooh, bouncing baddies. Don't pick those up. Bouncing baddies can uh, fuck up the drill. If a scorpion shoots bouncing baddies and makes them explode, the game thinks an enemy uh, made explosion, uh, which can instantly kill your drill, which is not good. It's definitely a bug. Don't uh, use trophies near drills. It's asking for uh, trouble. I also love how fast the factor is in weapon handling, so I don't have to necessarily switch to my pistol to uh, handle those for paint things fast. Because if you buy like the VKS, you really want to switch to your pistol every time you pick up a propane tank, because the handling of the pistol is just way faster, you can uh, 
pick up and throw them faster. Since I am uh, not able to get maximum class before the next battle arrive, I'm just going to commit to armor. I have armor maxed, I can always get full whenever I want. It's really not necessary. I uh, recommend keeping it on 2 and going for class max before the last bar uh, next berry hive. It's also nice to have uh, the extra damage against the uh, rhinos in the next area. Also, I love this really cool. Accuracy challenge. Um, I recommend using like a pistol or uh, tap firing uh, your automatic gun. Don't hold the shoot button. If you hold the shoot button, you will miss a lot of bullets. If you tap fire, you should be fine. With rapid fire, it's a bit harder to tap fire, but uh, still easy. You can keep your accuracy above fifty percent. Oh, there goes my propane tanks. That's a bit sad. But again, a few propane tanks don't matter too much. If I get the leaper challenge, I will try to hyper knife him because I want to see what happens. Cinderium is also great for this, because you can tap fire some things, just leave them be, and they will die uh, because of the fire, eventually. So I don't have a flare for this one, but I have a trophy system, so I should be kind of fine. Nice. Could throw a sofa on there. So right now the only thing I need to upgrade is my uh, class one more time and then uh, pretty much set for the rest of the game. Let's 
didn't do shit. There's a scout attacking me, but I'm ignoring it, so I'll have to that much. So now it's an it's more cool. Let's see how much Sentex does. Not too much. Getting attacked by Hunter makes you to kill it because those are nice. A lot of uh, the enemies are also dying by my elected fences, which are probably offline right now because I'm getting attacked more. Okay, that was not the fastest skill I've ever gotten, but uh, that's probably what it looks like in a casual game. Or like a teeth grind game. If uh, avoid these rhinos, uh, walk in a big circle around them and they won't aggro you. Uh, because it's very annoying to start the next hive uh, with a rhino. Definitely if you get a bad challenge, like a trap challenge or something. Okay, now I've got an easy challenge. That's nice. Don't know why, but the take, uh, spend money challenge can occur many times. Yeah, the rhino didn't go away, I don't know why, but uh, it's I've gotten a nice challenge, it's not too much of a problem. It is acting a bit weird, so I don't know what's happening. It's like uh, walking there, menacing me. During this hive it's most of the time it's not really worth it to uh, go for the money. Because if a hunter gets on the trail, it can really uh, mess you up, and if you have a difficult challenge, it can also mess you up. So most of the time, ignore it. It's not that I need the money. It's just that it's an icon, and I need to collect it, the icon. I see, so I must go. Okay, when you s once you're halfway, uh, a rhino is going to spawn in during each of the hives on hardcore, not every other hive. So uh, just be prepared for it. If you know where they spawn, you can already throw a lot of bullets in them before they even start attacking you, which makes them very easy to uh, deal with. Complete the, the challenge there. Oh yeah, I have 3 skill points. Hey, more damage. Hey, flare. Wait, I'm gonna keep the hype the knife actually. If I get uh, the leaper challenge, I'm gonna try to hype the knife the leaper and see what happens. I really, really hope the challenge doesn't fail. <laughs> Cause that would suck, but that probably doesn't. You probably get the hype the knife the hunter with maybe less health. Okay. Uh, drill health challenge. Just have to tell to myself that I need to stick to the drill. Just don't leave the drill and it should be fine. Which I immediately do, of course. They just stay around the drill, don't go searching like I'm. I'm always searching. Just don't do that. Definitely, if you have a maxed out factor like I have now, you really don't need to be searching. I also have a hyper knife, I don't even know what I'm searching for, I'm just searching to search. <laughs> because that's what I normally also do in the speed speedrun because I'm bored. Oh, get hit through the floor, that's always nice. It happened in my high school as well. <laughs> A half waypoint, so that means the rhino is coming. I'm sure I have some ammo for that. 
Also, your ability is ready about every uh, once, once every hive. So uh, you can basically use your ability every time you see a rhino. Again to the floor. Serious. We want to prepare the drill, but there's constantly both guys on it. I guess it shouldn't matter, it's already done. So this wind can be a bit faster with barrels again. It's probably not too difficult if you're an experienced runner, so you can experiment with it, but if it's too difficult, I think this uh, setup should be doable for everyone. There we go again, searching. Instead of searching for a fucking sc <laughs> for a scorpion I can kill, I am searching for searches. Again, the fire kills the scorpion. Next scorpion I see, I'm just gonna knife to death. I try to shoot it once and then knife it, but the fire keeps killing me. Should have waited for the fire to go out. That was uh, my mistake. Can you use scorpion again? Let's get it. One, two, three, five. Scorpion is damaging me like crazy. The scorpion. Just stand still, please. Yes, thank you. Maybe a very annoying challenge. Not too difficult, but if. So you have stuff like it's just that with uh, the fire killing the scorpion and that kind of stuff, it can be annoying. Just uh, focus on it and you'll be fine. Also try to do it as fast as possible so you don't have to uh, do it last minute. And uh, not while there is a rhino spawn. It's probably going to spawn about now. Extra damage is really not spawning the shooter hunter. You're late, bro. You see, I have my ability ready again, but I really don't need to use it. on the drill, which I need to pick up about now, so it's really annoying. Oh, it actually disappeared in time. So for this hive, there's a strat you can use, where you just leave the drill be. Ooh, uh, ability challenge. Always read the challenge, first thing you do when you place the drill. Uh, when the counter is going down, you can throw one ability. Maybe two if you're really fast with quick boxing. I'll always play quick boxing later. But uh, this challenge is very easy, just make sure you have ammo in your gun and uh, yeah, blast. Also, yeah, I was explaining for this hive, there's a trick. Uh, you can place down the drill and then go to this area. And if you do, the aliens will not attack the drill. So you can just chill here. Uh, yeah. 
kill the aliens without having to bother about it as well. I don't think it's easier, I think it's, it's just a cool strat. Also, uh, I didn't get the Leaper challenge, guys. I really wanted to do the... I have the knife of the Leaper. But uh, I guess it, it isn't meant to be. Do I know already? Oh yeah, there he is. Uh, don't use your weapon specialist ability if you have this challenge. Because it will fail the challenge. Oh, I'm dying. So yeah, if you use your weapon specialist ability, you will fill the challenge, so don't. Just wait till the challenge is over, which is almost this. If you have Hypen and Rhino, you can also Hypen and And there we go, challenge completed, I can find throw um, ammo, I cannot throw armor. Should be totally safe now. Damn it, it's going to put a lot of damage in a short time. I guess on drill is always very annoying. Okay, last hive. Uh, it's a very long one. I've got a very annoying challenge, which uh, it's gonna make it that I uh, don't have ammo for most of this one and don't have armor. This challenge is uh, definitely one of the worst, in my opinion, because I just forget about it. If I run out of ammo, I immediately throw down ammo. If I have max money, my reflexes to throw something and this challenge makes this really annoying but uh, you have to deal with it just keep reminding yourself don't spend money, don't spend money, don't spend money, don't spend money, don't spend money you can use your weapon specialist ability but don't spend money don't spend money, don't spend money I'm gonna use my weapon specialist ability to kill the... why not? don't spend money, don't spend money don't turn on the trap Oh yeah, quick boxing. If you uh, have weapon specialist or uh, handling boosters, uh, you have quicker weapon swapping. And if you have that, you can press Y and pull out the box at the same time. If you do, your quick, quicker weapon swapping gets applied to the boxes. And you can pull out boxes very fast. Which is a cool trick I use basically all the time. It's not necessary in any mean, but it's just nice to throw boxes faster because it's very annoying to do so. Because they are very slow to throw. I am uh, dying because I can't throw anything down. Which is uh, pretty embarrassing, but that's what it is. Get an annoying challenge, you, uh, you sometimes just have to die. But dying is not bad at all. It doesn't lower the amount of teeth you get. As long as you have like one self revive for the escape, it's all gonna be fine. I wanna save my weapon specialist ability for the rhino, but of course this hive is insane long, so I don't even I died again. Well. Oh well. Stop the performance here, but uh, now I have armor, so now I'm gonna be completely fine. I can also shoot my factor finally. I saved my factor for this rhino, but the rhino didn't show up at all. Throwing out those boxes so quick is uh, really nice. It's really innovative. Like I, uh, I do it out of habit. But it's something uh, I'm really glad I got into the habit of. Because it's so nice. Sometimes you fail and you think like, "What the fuck is this? Why is it so slow?"
Whoa, I missed every bullet there. Yeah, sometimes you get to spend money challenge at the final hive, that's, which I think is a way better challenge. If you have the challenge like I just got, you have to deal with the punches. Sometimes you have bad luck, sometimes you have better luck. But uh, yeah, challenges are a second priority next to surviving. Finishing games is the most important. Uh, completing all challenges is second, I think. And uh, yeah. Don't try to go too fast. Make sure to uh, try to get maximum teeth. I should have turned down armor when I saw the challenge. I uh, was way too slow. Uh, ammo and armor. We both. Okay, let's go. Running with pistols a bit faster, so I'm gonna do that. There's gonna be a rhino here, so I'm gonna have the knife him. Oh wait, I can't. Never mind. I totally forgot I don't have uh, I don't have a rhino. Force of habit. So the meteor already fell now, so I don't need to hurry to the meteor. The meteor is gonna disappear in 30 seconds. As soon as you cross a certain border, the meteor is gonna fall. There's no point in hurrying after that. So the meteor is falling now, so there's no point again in being quick. Could take 50 more seconds and the meteor will be gone and I can run again. With ferals you can do this, uh, this trick, which makes the meteor disappear, but without ferals it's impossible to do. I at least have never done it without fellows, let's, let's try it. Nah, ain't gonna happen. Okay, so disappeared. Final stretch. Okay, so that was the run. I uh, did take some downs at the end there, which was a bit sloppy, but hey, if uh, the challenges uh, don't align, sometimes it's just bad. I think Exodus is uh, an easier map to uh, deed grind on, in my opinion. Uh, I did this map in 39 minutes and 28 seconds, which is about 5 minutes slower than uh, an Exodus run, or at least my Exodus run. Maybe. Uh, if you have difficulties with Exodus, uh, your Exodus one is a bit slower. And then uh, this map is actually faster. So let's see how many teeth I get. As expected, I got 19 teeth. Um, I got a bit less than 600 kills. So uh, you might not get two teeth kills, uh, two teeth for kills every game. Because I got a bit less than uh, 600 kills. Uh, but I already had some kills stored up so I got uh, two teeth for this uh, so yeah 19 teeth again I'm gonna show the sheet uh, for the guys that only watch the end I got five for completing the mission two for the challenges uh, so that's seven four for all challenges so that's 11 two for uh, 300 kills or 600 kills so that's uh, 13 hardcore is an extra three so that's 16 and three relics is 19 and I didn't get any of the others. So 19 teeth, and as you can see, I got 19 teeth. I'm gonna show my setup one more time real quick. Um, this, uh, these are the 
Deal upgrades I recommend. And if you want to go beyond that, I think the next one would be start with a lucky key and uh, you failed attachments because those are uh, amazing. You, know, you failed attachments. Also extremely cheap. <laughs> I don't know why I was not running that. And then just uh, buy the upgrades that uh, actually affect your gameplay. Like uh, if you like void shields, buy a flame stored void shields. If you use snipers a lot, use sniper dead eye. If uh, you like sentries, sentry armor, IMS, IMS fast trigger, IMS flaming pool, that kind of stuff. And then uh, go for the more expensive ones. Uh, I think most scavengers are very underrated for uh, the sprites. Uh, Critter Slayer ammo is very good, but uh, it's not too good to match with Weapon Specialist. And Arcane Stun is very good if you have Critter Slayer ammo, else I would wait with it. And Double Class is insane, but it's also insane. Insanely expensive. Uh, good luck, guys, with your runs. Uh, I hope this guide was useful, and see you in the next one.